Hello friends, here is an Excel challenge for all of you. Now we have a data in this table format which we have to convert in this particular format. Now to do this in Excel, what we will do, we will use some formulas. So if you see there are three different columns right in this table. So we have to join these three columns right so we can do it manually but we will do it through a formula which is known as v stack so we'll click over here right and we'll use a formula v stack right and it is asking us array 1 array 2 right so we'll select our first array like this put a comma we'll select our second array like this put a comma and we'll select our third array like this and we will close our bracket and press enter so as we have press enter you can see i mean all these three columns are joined one after another okay now the next step is to bring the classes right in this particular column now to do that we'll use xlookup so i'll put our xlookup like is equal to xlookup this is our lookup value right we'll put a comma lookup array right lookup array will be this okay only this right and we will make this absolute make this reference absolute so let me make this absolute like this we'll put another comma and return array return array will be the headings again we'll make it as absolute like this and we will close the bracket and press enter so once we close the bracket and press enter we can see class 1 is appearing before this particular name what we will do we'll just drag this down right so you can see we have class 1 in front of this particular name class 2 in front of this particular name and class 3 in front of this particular name the next thing what we need to do is to you know do i mean copy and paste it as values right so we'll do that manually like this okay right and the next thing what we need to do we can you know we can delete all these na's right so we can use this function control f find and replace right and we can put it like this replace with blank like this okay and the next step what we need to do we'll go to control g right here we will go to special right because we have already selected this and we will select blanks so when we select blanks and click on ok you can see it has selected all the blanks like this the next step what we need to do is to put equal to and select this particular range and have to press control and enter like this so once we have press control and enter you can see everything is copied right till the end now what we can do we can just you know copy this whole thing and paste them as values and this is how you can transform your data from this format to this format right now in the next part we will show you how we are achieving the same result with our excel tailor ribbon tool right hello friends just in case if you ever face a situation where you need to convert a table like this in this particular format so you can do it very easily with the excel tailor add-in tool so to convert it in this format what we need to do first we will select the cell right then we will go to formula and you can see there's a formula join data by rows so i'll click this and i will select my data like this so once you select your data like this your data will appear in this particular format right so the next step is to apply a x lookup so we'll apply a x lookup like this right this will be my lookup value correct this will be my lookup array i will make it absolute and this will be my return array i will again make it absolute right 
and I will close the bracket. That's it. The next step is we will drag this formula like this. Okay. Now uh, we will use this function to copy all of our formulas as values. So we can select any of these for option. So let me select like this and click on OK. Right. Now all my formulas are converted to values. The next thing what we need to do is to go to <coughs> sorry find and replace and we have to find what na and we have to replace it with blank right and we click on ok and we click on close and the last step is to select this data right and use the fill down function like this right and your data is ready